province of Ilocosur boasts a lot of well-preserved and cared-for piece of the Philippines' history. Its heritage sites often bring nostalgic feels and a sense of traveling back in time. Our team traversed the way from the more famous vegan city Ilocosur, where a lot of famous heritage buildings were situated and traveled 45 minutes to showcase another gem of Ilocosur. That is the Nuestra Señora de la Asuncion Parish Church, or more commonly known as the Santa Maria Church. The Santa Maria Church is situated at Santa Maria Ilocosur, a coastal municipality in the province of Ilocosur. Santa Maria is 24.82 kilometers to the north northwest of Vigan City, Ilocosur. The Santa Maria Church, also called the Church of the Lady of Assumption or Church of Nuestra Señora de la Asuncion, is a parish church standing tall on top of a hill. Santa Maria Church adorned its name in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites on December 11, 1993, as a part of the four Baroque churches in the Philippines. It was identified as a heritage site for its massive architecture and fortress-like appearance. The authentic features of the church building mark the church architecture of the Spanish colonial period of the 16th to 18th centuries. It is a perfect haven for the people who love to explore ancient culture and history. The long staircase that leads to the church imparts paradisiacal qualities to the church. A stairway of 85 steps leads up a hill from the edge of town to the church, which is perched like a citadel and fortified by the retaining wall of stone. Its elevated setting is unusual for Spanish colonial churches of the period. Like all the other heritage sites, as our world keeps on evolving, there are a number of problems that threats the conservation of such treasures. Most buildings suffer from climate change related problems and Santa Maria Church is no exemption. After capturing the surface of what Santa Maria Church is about, let's dig deeper and find out the possible and current climate change threats to its preservation. One way to look after these treasures is to restore them not just to preserve their charm and beauty, but also to increase their values and that of their surrounding areas and buildings. Restoration and conservation are, indeed, a form of investment for sake of the community where the historic structure is built. Because of climate change, our heritage sites are more exposed to natural calamities. There is no moment to lose. Preventive measures have to be considered and implemented to the soonest possible time. Climate change in today's world are inevitable and it's already happening. These effects are massively felt by millions or even billions of lives all around the world. According to NASA, the effects of human-caused global warming are happening now are irreversible for people alive today and will worsen as long as humans add greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Philippines is ranked by the World Risk Report for three consecutive years third among the most disaster vulnerable country which keeps on worsening due to climate change. The most common climate change effects that are heavily felt by the Philippines are rising temperature, heavy rainfall, increased frequency weather events, and the rapidly rising sea level. As you know, Santa Maria Church also faces problems due to climate change and our group identified the following. Cracking is one of the problems of the structure due to the damage from the past. Next is the evident problems that the church has is chromatic alteration due to chemical weathering. Its exterior has variation of color and variation of color intensity. Another problem is filming. The surface layer has deposits that are caused by apparent stone elements 
but they are actually detachable from the material. This is one of the effects of air pollution. Following was encrustation. It is evident in the exterior part of the church where a compact and usually surface deposit composed of inorganic substance or structures of biological nature. This is due to biogenic weathering. Also, biogenic deterioration or the presence of vegetation in the structure is also one of the problems of the church due to the biogenic weathering that can lead to serious damages. Finally, the catastrophic events like strong typhoons are one of the major problems of the church. Last October 2016, Typhoon Law will leave a serious damage to the church and the convent. And recently, earthquakes happened in July 27, 2022 and has hundreds of aftershocks that also affected the church where its facade is damaged. Now that we have presented the problems encountered by the Santa Maria Church, we will be discussing the possible solutions we can take to minimize and mitigate the problem. Investigating differential settlements between walls and foundations and restore mortar joints. Apply technique of sticking a crack in a masonry wall. To maintain, we need to inspect the walls regularly to check the bond of the stitch to the brick wall. Inspect the surrounding foundation walls regularly for any subsidence in order to prevent more cracks. Regular cleaning is one of the best ways to keep the church maintain its look. Apply appropriate chemical wash for a specific type of stains. For algae, molds, and mildew, commercial mildew remover, household bleach, bleaching powders, or parasites which have been tested not to damage the affected wall. For resistance, oxalic acid or a local substitute, the Hamias fruit, is from the crushed fruit on the surface with a nylon brush. For lichen, moss, ivy and various weeds, commercial herbicides that have been tested for acidity. After cleaning the walls, apply lime wash. Apply techniques on stabilization of loose wall plaster grouting, repointing joints and replastering surfaces. To maintain it, check for signs of efflorescence and immediately wash off the crystallized soap. Don't let it accumulate on the plaster surface. Inspect and remove vegetal growth to arrest further deterioration of original plaster. Inspect areas with cheap plaster and apply appropriate repair techniques. Maintain proper drainage around foundation walls to mitigate rising down. One of the solutions to avoid roof damage is installing wind straps or clips to help secure the roof in case of high winds. One of the best ways to prevent roof damage from wind is to inspect the roof regularly. A professional roofing contractor can spot potential problems and make repairs before they become serious. And lastly, considering installing wind-resistant roof also prevent it or minimize the problem. These were the methods we see which will help minimize or mitigate the problems on the conservation of the church caused by climate change. The Santa Maria Church is a majestic treasure worthy of being maintained and cared for. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is truly amazing and captivating. So let's protect and conserve it. Let's, let's go, go Santa, Santa Maria! Maria. It's more fun.